What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video! We're back in Stardew Valley, of course we're back in Stardew Valley. This is the only game right now that I want to play. We're going to show off some more 1.5 content and today I'm actually going to be showing all of the brand new product machines in the game that have been added to 1.5. So similar to the kegs and the preserve jars, there are loads more brand new machines that will make new produce. And I'm gonna show you every single one of them in the game, not only just how they look, but I'll also show you how they work and what they produce. It's gonna be insane guys, there's so many. So if you're excited, hit the like button. Show me some love for the Stardew Valley 1.5 update. So here we are on the farm. This is where I'm gonna showcase all of the product machines, every single one in the game. And we'll go through them one by one and show you how they look and what they make, etc. So starting off here in the brand new stone chest, this is one of the new chests in the game. There's two, this is one of them. That's where I'm keeping all of the items in there to show off. And also, this is the other chest new to the game. This is a Junimo chest. As you can see, it's a little bit different. It can only hold a 3x3, three three, so a total of 9 in there. But these work differently to the normal chests. These are specially made for multiplayer. These are shared chests. So whatever items get put into one of these chests here. So for example, so if I put my espresso shots and tarot tuber seeds, you can access the same items in the other chest, for example, there we go. So both chests, you store things in one, you can access them in any of them. So if you're on multiplayer, you can place these around the farm and you can share items between players. So if you, for example, tools, watering cans, you know, all that kind of stuff that's important, anyone can access them in these chests. So you can make one and your friend can make one on your own little area and you can share the items between them. Very, very cool. The stone chest works exactly the same as the other ones, but they just can be made out of stone and not wood. So those are the chests. Now let's get into some decorative items. Not so much productive. We'll get into the big ones afterwards. Starting off with fireworks. That is right. We can now craft fireworks in the game and you can use these for celebrations and festivities. So that is what the fireworks look like on the, the ground. I'm not sure how you like these. I think you can only use them on festivals or certain festivals. I have tried lighting them on the farm, but they don't seem to work. So like I said, I think it's just a festivity item that you can use, but they're new in the game. Fireworks. There is also a new craftable sign. Obviously, all these items here what are on this side of the farm. These are from the other updates from 1.3, 1.4. I showcase all of the new items in the game. This 1.5 update has so much more new ones. So obviously with the signs, we got the wooden ones, we got the stone ones, and these signs basically you can just put an item on there and this will show the item on the sign and you can use this for lots of stuff around the farm. And we've now got a new one. So we've got the stone one, the wooden one, and this is the new dark sign. There we go. It looks awesome. You can craft this very simply with just bat wings and bone fragments, which are new in the game. Another new thing in the game is the mini shipping bin. So this is a lot smaller, can only sell nine things in there and that will get collected at the end of the day. Not really explored these much, but yeah, we've got a mini shipping bin. We have also got this ritual mask here. Now this is not a scarecrow and it's not a mask, you cannot wear it. This is just decorative, obviously with the tropical theme of the 1.5 island update. Uh, this is something that you can now get. We've also got something else to go with that and this is a bongo. Obviously a bongo is like a little tropical ancient drum and uh, that looks awesome with the ritual mask there. So tropical, absolutely incredible. Now obviously we used to have the campfire, this was originally in the game, I think from the very beginning, from the first ever release, but we've now got something new called the bonfire. Now this just emits a little bit of a, a reddish glow light and I've never seen this before, so I think this is part of the 1.5 update, quote me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time I've seen it, so we've got two kind of fire things there, but this bonfire just emits a constant little red glow, which is uh, quite nice. And something else strange that we have got, which I have no idea what it is, but it is called a boulder. It looks very strange, I'm not sure what is the purpose of it, is it decorative maybe, but uh, yeah, just got a pile of boulders. I mean, why not? Now something else new and decorative in the game, before we had these uh, obviously Junimo and arcade systems, but now there is a new one in the game which is called the Cursed PK Arcade System. And it says something is not quite right with this arcade system, so this is the new one. Now I'm not sure if you can craft those or place them down, or maybe this is in the saloon, or you can access this somewhere else, but it is new into the game, so I thought I'd place it down and show it off, because yeah, we've got a new arcade system and it's a cursed one. So they are all of the... 
decorative, maybe like furniture, things that just look fancy or can be crafted. But now let's go into the production where these machines act just like the other ones in the game and create and produce new items. Starting off with a brand new statue. This is called the Statue of True Perfection. We had the gold statue and then the Statue of Perfection and now we've got the Statue of True Perfection. Now we can wait and see what this gives us but this is the better statue out of the three, as you can see, they go up, we get diamonds from this one or an item depending on whose birthday it is, they will give you that. The perfection will always give you iridium ore. And yeah, I'm not sure what this new one does, so we'll find out at the end of the video to see what that gives us. We have also got an auto petter. Look at that. <laughs> it's got some kind of hands and it's spinning around. If you remember in the last update, we got the auto grabber, which automatically grabbed the produce items from the animals, so the eggs and the milk, and then you could just click on this and get all of the items from there rather than you go around and picking them up well now we've got the auto petter you no longer have to go around and pet each animal individually if you have one of these down they will get petted automatically every single day absolutely fantastic i love that one we also have a hopper items placed inside this will automatically be loaded into the machine in front of it so for example if we place a charcoal kiln right there and then the hopper in front of it whatever item you put in here will automatically go into the machine in front of it so for example if we get some wood this will automatically get placed into the kiln and make coal big stack of wood we place that in there but don't do it like i did <laughs> we need to do this the opposite way around so you need to put the hopper first so the hopper goes there the kiln will go there so it goes right behind it and then you put the wood inside and there we go automatically produces items in the machine and you can do this with all sorts we'll demonstrate one more so if we put the hopper down and we put a keg in front of it and then we fill this hopper with coffee beans, it is automatically making us coffee. Incredible, absolute amazing machine. And speaking of coffee, we get a brand new coffee maker. This will automatically brew a fresh cup of coffee every single morning. So yeah, you don't need to do anything. You just place it down. Every morning you get one free cup of coffee. Incredible. The next machine we have is this crazy looking thing. And this is called a deconstructor. We place this down. This will destroy crafted items, but you will get salvage from it. So it doesn't go to waste. We've crafted a chest. We didn't need to, we've got too many. Let's place this inside there and it will deconstruct it and we will get the salvage parts back from it, which obviously, rather than deleting the chest and getting rid of it, you now get your materials and resources back from it, which will be, or should be, 50 wood, if I'm right. Not sure how long it takes, but we can keep an eye on this. In fact, let's just move on to the next one and we'll get back to this uh, shortly. The next one is the geode crusher. This will break geodes open automatically, but you just need coal to operate it. So you no longer need to go down to Clint to do it. And also, yes, we got our 50 wood back from the chest. We've got five geodes, but we need one coal to do so. And look at this. We are getting the coal from our kiln. Let's place that in there. And this is crushing the geode and we should get whatever is inside of that geode on the farm automatically. So you don't have to spend money and go down to Clint's every time. You can do this on your farm. That is such a good item. The next thing to showcase is the telephone. Now this is not necessarily a machine, but you can use this to call a shop to check what's in store, what's in stock, their opening times. So we can literally call Robin right now. Hey, it's Robin. I'm, I'm taking the day off today. Sorry for the inconvenience. Of course, it is the festival day, but we can check the store inventory. So look, if you want to buy things, you can check the prices, uh, what they are selling. There is the telephone there, actually, what we're speaking about. The new beds. And this is handy, so rather than going all the way to Robin's to check, you can do this on the farm before going to make sure they're open, of course, and uh, to see what they are selling and the price of it. And the next item to showcase... Oh, in fact, look at this. This geode gave us an orpiment. Nice. And the next one is the Bone Mill. Look at this. We saw this on a screenshot of a sneak peek showing off this uh, update. And this will turn the bone items into fertilizer. So the new item in the game that you can find on the island are bone fragments. There's also lots of other bone items, but if we put the fragments into here, you need five in order to do it, but this will create fertilizer. Another great item to have on the farm. The next is the sewing machine. We can use to tailor our clothes from the convenience of our home. So we no longer have to go down to Emily's to do it every time. We can place it on the farm and here we go. We can create our own clothing items. 
All we need is some cloth and then a random item. Let's use this orange thing. I have no idea what we're going to make. But uh, here we go. We made a shirt with a bow. Can't complain. The next item, another one, there's so many, is the ostrich egg incubator. This will hatch ostrich eggs into the baby ostriches and uh, we can place this into a barn. So you can't actually place this outside, we need to place it in a barn like I said. But there is a new animal in the game, of course, the ostrich. But I believe you can only have the ostrich on the beach farm, I'm not sure if you can get them uh, on this normal farm. But we can place this down, all you need is an ostrich egg which is one of the new products in the game. You place that in there and this will create a baby ostrich. So we are nearly there guys, a few more left to show and the next one is the farm computer. This will scan the farm and display useful information. So here we go, Andrew's farm. Uh, we have zero hay, we've got no crops. No crops are ready, zero unwanted crops. We have got 114 in the greenhouse though. We've got zero tilled soil. We've got 228 machines that are ready and the farm cave is ready as well. So yeah, this is a little handy thing to scan your computer and uh, it will let you know a bit of details about your farm. Very, very handy. The next machine is this, the solar panel. This will slowly generate batteries when left in the sun. Look at that. So on a sunny day, if it's not raining, you can now get batteries. Of course, we add the lightning rods. These will give you batteries in the thunderstorm and rain, and, and the solar panels will give you batteries in the sunshine. So you have two ways of getting batteries. The second to last item is the mini obelisk. Look at that. If you place two of them on the farm, you can warp between them, like teleport between them on your farm to get around your farm a lot quicker. So for example, we've got one here to showcase. If we place another one, let's say right down to the animals, because it does take a little bit of time to get there. So let's place this one, let's say here. And then if we click on this, boom, it will teleport us straight to the other one, and vice versa. Absolutely incredible, guys. Like the little things like this just make the game so much more enjoyable, so much more easier to play. And yeah, it's just incredible. That is all of the uh, the main ones. There's one more to show off, but we uh, we need a tree for this. And this is the heavy tapper. So if we place this onto a tree, it works twice as fast as the normal tapper. So you don't have to wait so long to get your maple syrup or oak resin or anything like that. So if we put a maple syrup tree, let's just say here for now. Is that the phone? Oh my god, mate, it's ringing us. Hey, Chris, I just want to check up on you and see if Andrew's farm is doing well. How's everything going? I know your secret, Lewis. Uh, what's that? I think the line cut out. I can't hear a thing. All right, well, I guess I'll hang up then. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's so good. More secret dialogue involving one of the new items. We know his secret. Of course we do. Love it. So here is the maple tree. If we put the heavy tapper onto this, that's a new crafting recipe and crafting item. And we'll get um, maple syrup, or depending on what tree you put it on, much more quickly. We've also got a new seed as well, which is the mushroom seed. So you can now find mushroom seeds and plant them yourself. You don't have to wait for them to spawn on the farm. If you chop this down, you will get red mushrooms and occasionally you will get a seed. And of course, whilst we're showcasing off some of the new uh, items and recipes in the game, we have got two new fruit trees, which I've saved space for right here with my other fruit trees. And this is bananas and mangoes. The phone's ringing again. Is that Mayor again? God damn. Well, this time it's morning. So there we go. That's the, f the two new fruit trees. We've got banana and mangoes on the farm now as well. Incredible. Leave me alone, whoever's trying to ring. I'm busy. I'm making a video. God damn it. That is all of the 1.5 new products, machines, some furniture decorations and, you know, things you can place around your farm. Absolutely incredible, some of these. Very handy. And that's the most we've had in one update. So look at all the new stuff so far, guys. So good. If you enjoyed them, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite. Which one are you going to use the most? What is the most handy and the one that we needed the most? I can imagine some of these being very popular and uh, used a lot on the farms. So yeah, that's all I've got time for. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to see more Stardew Valley 1.5 content. I'm going through everything. There's so much more videos and content that I've got on this update. There's still so much more that I've not shown. It's, it's incredible. It is such a massive update. It's just never ending and I'm loving every second so yeah thank you all for watching make sure you all stay safe have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you on the next one guys bye bye